Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday, T G I N F. All that good stuff. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. It is um, kind of a lousy day. Well, at least the way it's starting out. Uh, we had some rain overnight. It's still currently sprinkling out there a little bit. But it, uh, according to the radar, I love my uh, Fox 5 weather app. According to that, when you set the radar in motion, it uh, it's going to stop raining here very shortly. Looks like it might have another little patch pass through here about, about lunchtime. And then after that, it is clear sailing. Going to have an awesome weekend. I'm excited. I uh, got lots of lots of things I want to do this weekend. So uh, pretty stoked about the weather forecast. Let's see uh, who we got over here. And you guys really pile up the comments over here. Let's see. We've got Joanne, a.k.a. Dwayne. Good morning to all. It's minus, I think that's what he means, minus five out this morning in Cornwall, Ontario. Hope all is well. Hope all is well up uh, up there in Frigid, Ontario. Hobby's in the house early this morning. He says, happy Friday, folks. Good morning to you, sir. Troy Pritchard, good morning. Happy Friday and a thumbs up to you too, Troy. Thank you, buddy. Hitch Hamilton in the house. TGIF, balmy 66 degrees there in southwest Florida. Sounds pretty good to me, Hitch. Larry Galt says, good morning. Urologist appointment today, 43 now and 67 later. Okay. Well, I hope your uh, appointment works out well, Larry. Uh, Dwayne says, I would like to say thank you to the men and women in the military for your service services wherever you are, and I hope they watch this program. I think it's great meeting all of you on here every morning yeah absolutely thank you uh thanks to all the veterans uh, and service people um let's see earl walker's in the house he says morning everyone tgif 35 degrees going up to 43 in rain today yeah you might be getting some of that rain that's been passing through here um, I don't know if that's part of the same band or not. Steve Gronsky says, good morning, happy Friday, 35 and sunny this morning. And that is in Mustang, Oklahoma, if I recall. Matt Awesome Wood Things Haas says, I'll be in a boring meeting, so I can't stay, but I did drop a like. I appreciate you, Matt. You are the man, buddy. Paul Stewart says, good morning, all. Gary Hammett says, good morning. Barry Curtis. Kevin Ells, thank y'all for watching. It says, number 80 of the coffee sessions today. I know it. Can you believe it? I never would have guessed when I started doing this that I'd still be doing it 80, uh, 80 coffee sessions later. But it's just like an addiction. I can't stop now. <laughs> it's too much fun talking to all you folks in the morning. Ronald Cool, how you doing, Ronald? Hope you're uh, on the mend there, buddy. Michael Chipsers over there on Facebooks. How you doing, Michael? Uh, watch out for that weirdo in the truck. Uh, it's 9 a.m. Do you know where your kids are? Yeah, let's see. Dave Clemens in the house. How you doing, Dave? LB Sharp says good morning. Eleven uh, says good morning. Chris's workshop says good morning. Man, I'm so far behind on these comments here. Mike Reynolds. Um, let's see. 
I love it when Atlanta gets good weather. Just a matter of a couple of days before it comes up here. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be an awesome weekend. You know, like I said, this little bit of rain is going to move on through. Should be gone by early afternoon, and like, and it's clear sailing after that. Uh, so, Rob Schuster's in the house this morning. How you doing, Rob? Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dave, are you getting emails from me? I probably am. And if you're sending them through the website, I get them. No question about it. I get them all. Uh, 44 in Chattanooga says Mike Sills. Good morning, Mike. Good to see you on here. Jimbo Burt, roll tide, baby. He says, hey, brother Dave, how you doing, Jim? Ronald Cool's giving a thumbs up there, so I hope he's uh, doing better. Need a giveaway at 100. Yeah. I might think of something. I've actually had something in mind uh, where I might start doing giveaways here. I mean, you know, you guys are here. Might as well uh, do a little giveaway. So let's see. 100. I'm not sure exactly when that would fall. Where are we at here? the 24th we're at 80 so there's 85 90 95 it looks like the 100th would fall on around friday the 21st yeah i might have to plant something good idea good idea larry uh, let's say jimbo says you got sleepy eyes this morning my eyes look sleepy a lot of times. I'm st I'm just getting started on my second cup of starter fluid here. So I've been up since about oh five thirty, I think it was. Woke up, couldn't go back to sleep. Dogs started wrestling around like they needed to go do their thing, so I went ahead and got on that. But. I've only had one cup of coffee so far. This is my second. Ronald says he's still trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Let's take it easy, Ronald. Don't try to do too much too soon. It says getting your rain tonight and tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, well, don't send it back up here because he said, LB says, I need a hat. Well, I might do a hat giveaway. I was kind of thinking, you know, being being it's the coffee sessions, a good giveaway might be a coffee mug. Just saying. I'll work on that. Uh, got about uh, got about a month before the one hundredth thing here. All right, let's see here. I'm getting behind on the comments again. Uh, Ryan Ballard's in the house. Good morning, Ryan. He says he's listening on the road. Good, good. Appreciate you. Patrick's Workshop says, hello, fella. It's finally Friday. It's all about the weekend and playing with the robots. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'll be doing. Jim Burt showing some coffee right there. He's got five of them on there, man. If you've had five, I'm way behind. It says coffee mug. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about, uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you what I've been thinking about. Because I've been thinking about it for a while. I just haven't done it. But I've been thinking about getting coffee mugs similar to this. But getting the coffee sessions, uh, you know, with the brick background and all that put on there. And maybe doing giveaways on those for my uh, for my loyal coffee session folks. Uh, let's see, let's see. It says coffee mug. Yeah, I think that's. I think that'd be a good thing to give away. 
Let's see. Rob says, we had the rain a few days ago. Now it's perfect weather. Good, good. Bobby says, woohoo, robots. Bobby says, a Gatton coffee cup. Um, if you mean get C and C, yeah, I've got those, uh, already. Let's see here. Dwayne, Dwayne really needs to get his own YouTube channel, you think? Because that's confusing, <laughs> seeing Joanne and then saying Dwayne all the time. Says they're calling for snow up here in Cornwall, Ontario for Saturday. All righty. You can have it. Steve says thumbs up for the mug. Yeah, I thought that was a good idea. I've been thinking about it off and on for a while. I just haven't ordered any yet. But uh, I may do that. Just order a bunch of them and then do a giveaway on Fridays or something. Uh, or maybe, maybe some kind of like random random drawing thing that might be fun i mean you guys are here every day anyway so dave max out walking the dog how you doing dave um jimbo burt says dave make plan now to attend georgia festival we missed you last year yeah i missed uh, i missed going um but you know, the darn thing fell right on the exact same weekend that my reunion did. And my reunion is every, only every five years. So uh, I'll probably for sure be at the festival this year. No matter when they have it. Well, it shouldn't be any conflict this year, I don't think. Uh, George is watching from Liberia. Good morning, George. Hope you're doing well this morning. Good to see you on here. Another uh, another vote for the mug. Another vote for the mug. All right. Looks like mugs it is. Philip Carter says, morning snowy in Chicagoland. And Philip Carter, that name looks familiar. I think I have. Yes, indeed. I have an order right in front of me for a Mr. Philip Carter. Uh, looks like he made a purchase last night. So good for you, Philip. Welcome to the addiction. Uh, Jim says, mug, good idea. Good. There's a pause in the rain. Yeah. I think we, yeah, I think it's, uh, well, I'm, I'm looking at my camera here, my outside camera, and I can see a puddle. And I don't see any anything hitting the puddle, so it must have stopped raining. At least for yeah, at least for the time being. So all right, let's see. Just a thought, if you go with a physical giveaway, then you have to pay shipping. And if someone from Canada wins, it adds up. A digital giveaway, however, is free to old Dave. Yeah. Well, I'd probably do it where if I'm, you know, doing a coffee mug, it would be anybody in the U.S. And, uh, and then anybody else, I'd just send them something else. Cause like like we just saw, we got somebody from Liberia watching. We got uh, Kevin Ells, I think, is South Africa somewhere. So yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't do to try to send a you know fifteen twenty dollar coffee mug to halfway around the world somewhere. Philip says thanks. Can't wait to get started. Yep. Earl Walker's giving a thumbs up on the mug, so it looks like that's the, the right thing to do. Um, Dean says, that would be a good subtitle name for the coffee sales sessions. Welcome to the addiction. Yeah, I suppose. So, yeah. <laughs> He says the laptop stand plan would be nice. Yeah, I have those available. Yeah, I could I could work something out like that. Um, 
But I have been thinking about those coffee mugs for quite a while. Um, and I might just do that. Might just do that. I'll see about getting something made. All right. Anybody got anything they want to talk about today? I really don't have much news. Um, mostly local stuff. You guys probably wouldn't even know what I'm talking about for some of the local stuff. I think my email's getting blown up over there. What is all that about? Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Um, yeah, I saw that, uh, you got, if you're into the NBA basketball or, uh, Atlanta Hawks are not much better than our, Atlanta, our football Atlanta Falcons. I'm not going to say they suck or anything cause I don't really watch it, but they do have one guy on there. A uh, young fellow named uh, Trey Young, I think is his name. And he was voted on the uh, NBA All-Star team. And it's it's good that he was voted for that because a lot of times when, you, when you're on a team that's not doing just real well, they kind of overlook people. But this guy, he's averaging like 30 points a game. And I don't watch the stuff particularly, but when they show the highlights and stuff, on, on the news, it's always him doing these fantastic, you know, draining threes and uh, crazy moves. So, yeah. Um, let's see. It's, what is he saying here? I'm trying to read this without my glasses. Uh, says, time to thin the herd, Dave. We aren't getting any younger. Pass this stuff on to the next generation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's funny when you say thin the herd, because I always think of, you know, we should just take warning labels off of everything and let... Uh, let it play itself out that way. <laughs> try to try to uh, you know firm up the gene pool a little bit. Just take the la uh, warning labels off of everything. Let's see. This is Steve Grosky. My computer had a hiccup, so I moved to Facebook. Well, it looks like a YouTube account to me because it's got the. Got the uh, red thingy there. Larry says, I'm scared of some of the next generation. Ah, it'll probably work itself out. Um, you know, I can, I mean, you think about it, there's, I don't think the same way now that I did when I was younger. And, I think, you know, it all just comes with getting older and having, being more mature, having more experience about things. So, um, I, I, at least that's my hope that a lot of the people that have crazy way of thinking now, when they get older, maybe after they've had some kids and they realize that, you know, cause everybody does it. I mean, I can remember, you know, my mom and dad telling me something, you know, back when I was, you know, 18 or 20 or something. And I think they're the craziest people on the planet, you know. But now, looking back, I realize that pretty much everything they ever told me was spot on. Um, so... So that's my hope anyway. I'm, my hope is that some of these younger folks that, that like I say, kind of have a, a crazy way of thinking, at least in my opinion, will, after they get a little, uh, a few years into their belt, they'll change. Or at least enough of them will change that, you know, 
it'll straighten things out. But taking the warning labels off of things might help too. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, I'm getting behind here. Let's see. Uh, Dave wants to know if I sold that garage works. No, I still haven't. I still got it. And if anybody wants it, you know, I've been trying to make somebody a really sweet deal on it. And either people either want me to give it away or they want me to ship it. And I'm not doing either one. It's, it's one I used. It's set up, ready to run. And if somebody wants, wants to make me a reasonable offer on it and come pick it up because I'm not taking it apart. I keep trying to tell folks the reason I want it gone is because right now it's kind of in my way. But if I have to take it apart, it won't be in my way because I can throw it on the shelf. So, yeah, I still got it. But I'm going to be taking it apart pretty soon. So, uh, anybody wants it, I, I can make a pretty good deal on it. Um, let's see. Let's see what he said. Dwayne says, what are the prices of lumber down there here in Ontario? is nuts. A two by 12 by eight is about $14 each. And pine is more than oak. I don't know why pine would be more than oak. That's weird. Mm. I don't know. A two by 12 by eight. I think it's, uh, I'm going from memory here and that's usually not a good thing. But I'm thinking it's less than 10 bucks because that's what I used to buy or still do buy whenever I'm making them. But when I was making those little guitar bodies, I'd go buy a 2 by 12 by 8, which is inch and a half by about 11 and a quarter. And then I would cut them into 16 inch blanks. And then that's what I would make those guitar bodies out of. Like this one back here. But if I can get it. My dog's in the way. Sorry, guys. Something like that. That was just made from a 2 by 12. And then woke my dogs up now. But, uh, let's see here. Oh, he's talking to Hitch. Let's see. Yeah, uh, Steve Gronsky says, you're right. I moved to my phone. Yeah. Yeah, you're still on YouTube, just to a different device, I guess. As Chris says, we all grow up sometimes. Yeah, some of, some of us, it takes longer than others, you know. There's always a back story to warning labels. Yeah, that, it's exactly right. You know, when they have, when you see a really stupid one, you know, you might at first go, well, why would they put that on there? And then you, know, you have to stop thinking that sometime back in the day, somebody tried to do exactly what they're telling you not to do. Otherwise, that warning label probably wouldn't be on there. Jared Seymour says, morning, everyone. I'm late to the show. Dang work getting in the way. I know, it's pesky day jobs. Um, the truth endures. Yeah, that's a profound statement, Hitch, for this early in the morning. Troy says, teenagers know everything, just ask them. Sure. Sure. They said the same thing about Generation X, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, well, there's another saying. Somebody might know it out there, but they say that, uh, what is it? They say something is wasted on the youth. I can't remember how it goes. Somebody will probably know it here out there. Um, yeah, everything in Canada costs more. That's pretty much what I figure out. Every time I try to send something up there or, or just looking on the uh, the Amazon.ca, it's like, yeah, everything is way more. Yeah, 
Clyde says you have to remember that the Canadian is like 65 cents of the U.S. dollar. The Canadian dollar, yeah. Um, Hobby says, just bought a couple myself. A 2 by 12 by 8 is seven ninety five at the depot. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I couldn't remember exactly, but I was pretty sure it was under 10 bucks. Uh, probably eight and some change with tax or something. Uh, let's see here. Youth is wasted on the young. Is that how it goes? That doesn't sound right. That's not the one I was thinking of. Somebody will know what I think. Um, I see my message is popping up, I guess. Time for me to get out of here and get to work. Gary Hammett says that the Orange Box store, 2 by 22, I think he means 2 by 12, is 865. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I just happened to think of something. Dean asked me earlier if I was getting his emails. Let me look at something right quick. Or I guess I could just ask him. Are you the are you the one that sends me the emails with all red type? Because if you are, I don't read those. <laughs> Just saying. Change your print to black, and I might read them. I don't like the red. Makes it sound like it's something urgent that I'm required to read, and I won't read them. Yeah. I don't know where it went now, but I think that's, I think that's what it is. All right, so... Yeah, it's uh, stopped raining, so I'm going to go get to work. Um, I hope everybody uh, has an awesome weekend. I don't know what the forecast is everywhere, but like I said, it's supposed to be really nice this, uh, this weekend. No rain. I think we might have some more rain coming back in Monday, but I'll worry about that when it gets here. Right now, I'm going to. Um, time is wasted on the youth. I'm not sure that doesn't quite. Re I think I would know it if I see it, but I don't, so far those don't look like that's what I was thinking of. I'll just I'll just Google and put blank. It's wasted on the youth, and it will uh, it will probably come up. All right, Troy says, and Troy's a smart guy, so everybody should pay attention to what he says. He says, don't forget the thumbs up on the way out. See you all tomorrow night at the CNC with Dave on YouTube at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Man, that's excellent, Troy. You are the man. Yeah, I'm going to have a, for you CNC folks out there, and I know there's a bunch of you that tune in for the coffee sessions. Going to have my buddy Grant Davis on to talk about his um, CNC journey, I guess we'll call it. Um, and plus, I'll poke a little fun at Grant too because he's he's a he's a cool guy. So anyway, come check that out tomorrow at eight, just like Troy said. Um, yeah, it's just. Great Friday. Leave a thumbs up. All right. So I'm going to get out of here. Clyde says to ask, you know, who? Yeah, I'm not going to say that name anymore on here because she starts yakking. Um, all right. So I'm going to hit the magic button and get out of here. Everybody have an awesome Friday. Have a great weekend. And we will be back um, Monday morning at 9 a.m. We can meet right here. Bring your coffee. And we'll do number 81. Have a great weekend, everybody.